Hello, Berlin. I come from another warm city, Chicago, where only a few weeks ago, we almost lost four reactors to early closure for economic conditions. Activists, labor unions, politicians from around the state fought for a year to find a solution to prevent our nuclear from closing. Closing. Our nuclear is the same age as yours, the same power as yours, and just like yours, it keeps Chicago alive in the winter, which is bitterly cold and just last year proved that hundreds of deaths, hundreds of billions of dollars of damages for cities around the United States and the world are only one cold spell away, only one blizzard away. Well, we saved our reactors in Chicago. I just came from Glasgow, from COP26, where I was lucky enough to run into our governor, J.B. Pritzker, who acted decisively to save every single one of the threatened nuclear plants in Illinois. Can I get a cheer, please, for saving nuclear plants? And when I met him in the hallways in Glasgow, he said to me, it's not just the energy, it's the thousands of jobs. And that's true. It is thousands of jobs for nuclear workers, but there's something further. If Germany closes its power plants, it will give up any chance of remaining a responsible member of the international community. And not just on climate, not just on its own workers and jobs, but by Germany intentionally using up carbon emission certificates that poorer nations around the EU rely on to keep warm, that rely on to keep jobs. Germany is saying to Europe, I don't care if you freeze, I don't care if you die, I don't care if you're out of work. If Germany closes its plants and intentionally uses up the gas, the coal, and the carbon credits that the poorer nations looking for help and leadership currently rely on, Germany is more than just no longer a leader. Germany is a criminal actor in Europe and the world. As we saw in Illinois, it does not have to be this way. In America, we're fighting to save every single one of the nuclear plants that's threatened. Those plants can operate for decades, and many of them are younger than the ones in Germany. Germany's plants have some of the most extraordinary operational performance of any industrial facilities in the world. Germany is not closing these to be a leader. It is not closing them because it's necessary. Germany, wake up. If you do this, the world will call you to account, and you will lose allies, and we will not forget, ever. Keep the nuclear plants open like we did in the United States. Keep saving them like we continue to do around the world, and you will rejoin the international community as a hero instead of a villain. Thank you. Thank you, Mark.